There goes movie night. I'll tell you what's going on, Catterdon hissed. Everyone has been wasting so much electricity and fuel around here that we have run out of money to pay our bills. So until one of you figures out a way to get us some gold, I've taken matters into my own paws and turned off the power. Gasps and sad meowing rose from the crowd. Oh, don't be such a bunch of kittens, Catadon scolded. We can use candles instead of light bulbs, and instead of driving everywhere, we can walk. It's great exercise. Then the king added under his breath, though, of course, I will be pushed in the... Royal Carriage because I'm already in great shape. Then he stood up, tripped over his own tail, and tumbled down the stairs. Bonzo Felix and Boots, his trusty assistants, rushed to help him. At that moment, one of the scientists from the cat lab stood up. It was Dr. Regina Redfur. Your Excellency, I hate to complain, but you turned off the electricity just as we were perfecting a new anti-flea portable shower system, she began. Oh, yeah? Well, try getting stuck in an elevator for an hour, interrupted Simon Scarsnout. At least your favorite scallop flavored ice cream didn't melt in your freezer, Tomcat Pat whined. Who cares about ice cream, Hillary Hot Paws? Snorted, I was in the middle of baking a gourmet catnip casserole. Enough, Catterdon shrieked. I can't take any more of this whining. I don't care about your shower system, your elevator, or your melted ice cream. I just told you. We've got to figure out a way to pay our energy bills. Or invent some other way to make electricity. Until then, I'm keeping you in the dark. There goes movie night, Tomcat Pat sniffled. But Catadon wasn't listening. He had sidled up to Hillary Hot Paws. Maybe you can make that catnip casserole over an open fire, he suggested. Just the thought of some tasty catnip had the king drooling like a rabid stray cat. 